in the last two classes we have seen uh, decomposition techniques the first is lu decomposition the second is a qr decomposition right now what happens if a is a rectangular matrix right for eigen decomposition a need to be a square matrix but in real world uh, rectangular matrices do exist then how to decompose a rectangular matrix is through a singular value decomposition as an eigen decomposition to a square matrix is a single singular value decomposition for a rectangular matrix right here is the eigen decomposition if a is a symmetric matrix we know a can be written as p d p transpose and uh, this is how it is uh, reconstructed now if a is a rectangular matrix <clears throat> a can be decomposed as a product of u sigma v transpose or some authors they write it as u s v transpose whatever where u is an orthogonal matrix sigma is a diagonal matrix composed of eigen values and uh, v is an orthogonal matrix v is an orthogonal matrix right so if a is a m by n matrix then there exists an orthog orthogonal matrix u of size m by m and uh, an orthogonal matrix v of size n by n and uh, sigma <coughs> it depends upon our choice you know are we going to take all the eigen values or the dominant eigen values to what extent we are contented it's so composed of that's the reason we order the singular values as uh, s11 greater than s12 greater than spp or s22 is greater than spp is greater than so, uh, say where uh, p is a minimum of m comma n right so the diagonal entries of this uh, sigma or s is what we call singular values of a and uh, now the issue is how to construct these matrices right now u is an orthogonal matrix u is composed of orthonormalized vectors called a left singular matrices uh, left singular vectors of a and v is composed of right singular vectors of a then the issue is how to get those singular vectors it all it is based on a simple fact that if a is a m by n matrix then a a transpose is a symmetric matrix or a transpose a is a symmetric matrix right we'll see how now a equal to u s v transpose or a equal to u sigma v transpose where u is an orthogonal matrix and v is an orthogonal matrix and uh, uh, sigma or s is a diagonal matrix composed of singular values arranged in an order right now this is what the essence a m by n matrix a can be factorized such that a equal to u sigma v transpose where u is an m by n matrix m by m uh, orthogonal matrix and uh, it's composed it's constructed with the help of uh, a a transpose so called the left singular vectors and uh, v is an n by n orthogonal matrix uh, and whose columns are the eigen vectors of a transpose a and sigma is a diagonal matrix right or singular values or the square roots of the eigen values of either a transpose and or a transpose a because the eigen values of both a a transpose and a transpose a are one and same right uh, they only differ by zeros right so we take the uh, eigen values of either a transpose or a transpose a we order them we put them in an order decreasing order right and <clears throat> we construct this diagonal matrix taking square roots of these uh, eigen values of a transpose or a transpose a right uh, and we construct that diagonal matrix right so this is the singular value decomposition a equal to u u sigma v transpose or u s 
weight transfers. Then the issue is uh, once we decompose, how to reconstruct the egg? It's pretty simple, right? Like a uh, what is that? Uh, 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 <clears throat> spectral decomposition. Here, uh, reconstruction is done by uh, sigma one u1 v1 transpose sigma2 u2 v transpose sigma3 v3 u3 v3 transpose most of the time the first two three uh, singular values contains most of the information right okay so as far as the working procedure is concerned the diagonal values sigma1 sigma2 sigma n are called the singular values they are ordered in a decreasing order the columns of u u1, u2, un are called left singular vectors, right? And the columns of v are the right singular vectors. The left singular vectors come from a, a transpose and the right singular vectors come from a transpose a because a, a transpose and a transpose a are called, uh, are both symmetric matrices, right? That's what we say. Rank one decomposition. I mean, reconstruction is done with uh, 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 rank one matrices, right? Now, let's do an example. And in the next class, we do more examples on that, right? So, just to start with a simple procedure, uh, let A be a 311 minus 31, right? This is a rectangular matrix, 2 by 3 matrix, right? Now, you is constructed with A A transpose and V constructed with A transpose A and eigenvalues of both A A transpose or A A transpose, they go as a singular values, of course, with a square root. Now, A is this, A transpose is this, find A A transpose, look, this is a symmetric matrix, 11, 1, 1, 11, right? Find its eigenvalues, let A minus lambda equal to zero, then its eigenvalues are 12, and 10, we order them, right? We write it as 12 comma 10, not in any order like a 10 or a 12, right? Now, corresponding eigenvectors are given by 1, 1. 1, 1 is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 2, uh, lambda equal to 12, and 1 minus 1 is an eigenvector corresponding to 10. Now, this being a symmetric matrix, we know that its eigenvectors are orthogonal. Let's check. one minus one equal to zero. They are mutually orthogonal. They need to be mutually orthogonal, right? If they are not orthogonal, what we do? We, do, we orthogonalize them through a Grassmith orthogonalization process, right? Just for a practice, this is how we are, we orthogonalize. But in this particular example, there is no need to orthogonalize because they are already orth orthogonal, right? Now we divide by their norm so that they become orthonormal, right? Then with the help of these two vectors, we are going to construct U as uh, orthonormalized vector coming from lambda equal to 12 and orthonormalized vector coming from lambda equal to 10, right? Now, how to construct V? V comes from, it's a right singular, a line, right singular vectors. V has to be constructed with right singular vectors. Now, take A transpose A. Then A transpose A is a 3 by 3 matrix. We find its eigenvalues. Look, they are one and same, except they differ by zero, right? Zero, it has no information, right? So lambda one equal to 12, 10, and zero. We find the corresponding eigenvectors, right? One, two, one is an eigenvector corresponding to 12, two minus one, zero corresponding to 10, and one, two, five is an eigenvector corresponding to zero. Because they are all distinct, they need to be orthogonal. Let's check, one into two minus two, zero, right? Fine, they are orthogonal u2 and u3, 2, minus 2, 0. Similarly, u1 and u3. All these three are mutually orthogonal. Now we have to normalize them. Divide by its norm. Right? Uh, uh, root 6 is the norm of a v1, root 5 is the norm of a v2, and root 30 is the norm of v. Now, take these eigenvectors, orthonormalized vectors, construct v, this is a v, and this is a v transpose. Right? So we got a u from a a transpose, v from a transpose a, now, how about the S? S are the square roots of uh, eigenvalues of either uh, A transpose, A transpose A. It's a 12 and a 10. 
No, no. This is what. Now, this is a two by two matrix. This need to be two by three matrix. This need to be a three by three matrix in order to hold the equality. So finally, A equal to U sigma V transpose. You multiply all these three, you are going to get back this. Right? Same here. This is how we reconstruct. How to reconstruct? Sigma 1, U1, V1 transpose plus Sigma 2, U2, V2 transpose. Right. That's the reconstruction. Okay. So, what's the procedure? Take AA, take AA transpose, right? Find its eigenvectors called left single left uh, singular vectors. Take A transpose A, right? It's a symmetric matrix. Get its eigenvectors, normalize them. It's called right singular vectors. U is constructed with left singular vectors. V is constructed with right singular vectors and the eigenvalues of either E transpose or A transpose A, they go as the elements of the diagonal element sigma, right? One small application, we see that in future. Uh, 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 SVD, we use it in a pseudo inverse. Suppose y equal to ax is a system of uh, equations, right? If a is, uh, if this matrix A is a uh, uh, rectangular, I mean, uh, m more rows than columns or, uh, or more columns than rows, whatever, right? Then the solution vector x is given by A dagger, this is called dagger, or some they call it A plus, A plus y, where A plus is a pseudo inverse, right? Then how do you find that pseudo inverse? Uh, because if A is square, no issue. A plus will become A inverse, right? There is no issue at all. The problem comes if the A is non-square, then we need to go for a pseudo inverse, right? <clears throat> how do you find the pseudo inverse? Take that A, perform the singular value de decomposition, then A plus is given by uh, whole inverse, right? U sigma whole transpose whole inverse, then it becomes <coughs> V reversal law we use, V sigma plus or sigma inverse and uh, U transpose, right? Here, A plus is called pseudo inverse of E. Of course, we throw more light, we dedicate one complete uh, lecture on a pseudo inverse in future, right? Now, so this is how we perform singular value decomposition. A, a rectangular matrix equal to U sigma V transpose. U is an orthogonal matrix. If A is M by N, U is a M by M matrix. Uh, and V is a N by N matrix. So U sigma V transpose. Both U and V are orthogonal vectors. U come from uh, A, A transpose and V come from A transpose A. And sigma is constructed with the eigenvalues uh, taking the square roots and they go as a diagonal elements right right in the next video we'll do more examples on a svd right uh, what is the right inverse what is the left inverse and a whole lot of things right so uh, this is the solution in a least square sense right <clears throat>